Yo, I'm fucking 50-50. I don't care and I don't know. I literally don't care. I don't know. Oh, I just bonked the controller and it shows streamer mode. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello? Are we ready? This is really pretty. We go. In the middle alerts. I woke up to an up and down. Wrapped up in my lover's song. So is this going to be Ariana Grande? Is this is pretty. It's very Twilight. Which Ariana Grande song? Really, really good. Wow. This is on the lowest quality also. Yes, London Tipton's in this game. Oh, that's why Halsey said Tipton. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Take a moment to consider the following as it will guide you through mm. the various twists and turns mm. that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Oh, heads up. What button is that? What button is this? What button is that? Yeah, honey, nice catch. Thank you. I, I, I had to touch the screen again, I think, to register the controller. Yeah, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. Oh I guess God. it's all part of the rustic oh. summer camp experience. Oh, right. That's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. Well, the, the, this, this quality you know, is so Max, good. It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. This is a creepy quality good. Like, creepy good. Leaflet, what the fuck is a leaflet? 
Were there any directions on the flyer? No, just a fake bunch of kids faking it around a fake fire pit. Checks out. Everything okay? Yeah, all good. Look at the skin texture. Hey, the eyes on the road, mister. Oh. So I wonder if I could have just killed them if I didn't do that. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Lou, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we're walking. Okay, cool. Red Rocks also, um, if you're still here, thank you for the $5 as well. And Hobbit, thank you for the eight months. Hello. And Meg, thank you for the 11 months too. And Hales, thank you for the five. Morgan, hi. I was looking at my crunch rep and missed it. What, us hitting? Tutorial unlock interrupts. Snoop, hell yeah. we find thank you for your interest in why didn't you tell oh me? it's a college application that got approved oh rejected oh uh oh thanks huh yeah do you need a hand yeah actually if you could just shine a light right here here you go Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere's better than here. Definitely walk towards the person. Damn, just kidding. What the fuck? <laughs> There's like a woman in a white dress. Hello? Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Are you my boss? Or hurry up. How long do I have to decide? Are you my boss? Hurry up. <laughs> Are you my boss? What? You're not the boss of me. I just don't want you wandering off on your own. Excuse me. That's not what I meant. Yeah, it better not be. I, I'm sorry. I, I really got to concentrate for a second, okay? okay? Yes. My eggs are Look, I think there's someone down there, okay? What's that? They could be hurt. I'm gonna go check it out. Decisions are forever, they aren't timed. Oh, okay. 
Even if I'm like jumping over something. Good idea, Laura. So thoughtful of you. What did she do? Did she just fall off of nothing? Did she fall down? My game is frozen. Oh, it's good. It's good. It came back. It came back. It came back. Okay, we're good. Weird. Wait, can I go back? Very interesting. Yeah, it just stuttered for a sec. It's okay. I've never paused yet. Oh, wow. Look at the skin texture. Oh, that's freaky. That's very good. And this is the lowest quality. Um, Really quickly, before we get deeper into the game, um, you guys said look at the QTE settings, right? Um, is it just the QTE speed you guys were talking about? fine oh the don't breathe should i have it be on auto or default don't breathe encounters will automatically succeed should i have it on default okay i must have accidentally switched that okay cool don't breathe that's terrifying Okay, we go. The Fool? <gasps> oh, tarot cards? The Fool, I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom or recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity, actions without thoughts, but the consequences to match. Think, think and don't get burnt. Oh, we can have her, like, look around. That's on us. Interesting. Okay. <gasps> ah, hi! Hi, friends! We have um, alerts muted since we just started the game, but welcome in! Hi, Tanner! Hello! Tanner, have you played this? Are you going to? Hello. <gasps> hello, hello. Thank you for the 30 months. Hello. Okay, we just started this game, anyone who's coming in from Tanner's stream. Um, so this is the very beginning. Uh, if obviously you're avoiding spoilers, that's totally fine. Have a lovely rest of your, you know, morning or evening or time zone. Um, and if you aren't avoiding spoilers and you're just kind of curious what happened, basically the game started, we were in a car. We hit something, hurt the car, and now we're in the woods. That's all. Oh, maybe that's the, the person in the white dress we saw. You're very intrigued. I'm I'm curious um, if you would like it. Did you ever play Until Dawn? Wait, can we not look at that? Buy tickets now. Fortunes and freaks, mystery and magic. Skipologists and enigmas. Okay. An owl. Brenna, thank you for gifting us up to Kristen also. Uh, thank you, Kristen. Happy 10 months. Wait, is that another thing over here? Or did I just see that? Wait, why is that all lit up right here? Oh, that's, oh. Maybe that just means we can go back to it. Okay. 
Is that a chest? Ooh, kinky. Uh, escapology trunk. I thought I... I said LB to view, I pressed it. Does the owl mean this is gonna be a who done it? Wow. Tom, hello, happy nineteen months. What the hell? Interesting. Oh, maybe I'm not pressing it fast enough. Oh, it's right here. This poster. Okay, that's good that it like saves it. Um, this poster, or this is a poster for a traveling sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while. Left forgotten in the woods. Are those burn marks around the edges? Okay. I don't know what the question mark means, but I guess we'll find out. Silenced dog boy. Oh, fuck. I think if we press start, we can go back to it. Was that clues? Okay, they're called clues. Escapology trunk. A trunk filled with strange devices. That's of an escapologist, perhaps. A relic of a traveling show that must have passed through the area. And then the broken cage. This uh, decrepit cage had been engulfed by the woods over time. It looks like an animal has nested here. Okay. Yikes. That's what they call me in high school. Silas the dog boy. This is too weird. I love that they actually did an actual owl's like rhythm of hooing. If that makes sense. I don't know if there's a better phrase for that. So Ayo. Was she like up in the tree or something? Why, why did I look at the tree after that? <gasps> Danny, hello. Happy 37 months, hi. Oh, baby. Hello, hello. The deeper we get in the woods, the more we hear. I'm not missing anything back there, right? I don't know. I can't, this path, it's kind of hard to tell if this forks off into anything. I think, no, this is pretty linear. Hi, Danny. I hope you're having a good night. Are you playing this at all? Planning on it. I don't know if you did until dawn or if those games are even like your t your you know type of games or cup of tea or whichever, because they've got like a lot of horror aspects to it and everything. But I'm not. I would cry. That's fair. Sorta. Where are you? No, this is the beginning, Danny. I just started. Like, maybe we're like five minutes into the game, kind of. See, like, that's timed. I need to do that. That's not infinite, right? I gotta go. Oh, fuck! 
Wrong way! Get your ass up! <laughs> Max? Max? Max! Hey, hey, why are you shouting? Oh my god. What? Oh, did she fucking hurt her ankle now? Oh, whoa! What the hell was that? Car. Now. Now. Oh, okay. I think she wants us to no, sigh at less. Let's just get out of here. No, I'm laughing at myself. I didn't mean to trip her. I, I'm laughing because I fucking chose the wrong option. Come on. You said you checked it. I did check it, and it was fine. Oh. Honey, I know you're on edge, but you gotta calm down, okay? I am not on edge, Max. I'm freaking it's the delayed. fuck out. It was probably just an animal or no, something. No, it wasn't an animal. You didn't see it. it was oh, if you pause and unpause, maybe that fixes it? The woman Lord, or... this isn't helping, all right? Go. There we go. We're good. See? Please just get us out of here. Okay. You've got to be fucking kidding me. It's usually just a scene. I'm trying. Oh. I'm trying. Anyone who's not listening with audio, this is perfectly fine. We're okay. We're safe in the oh, car, better. really. We're gonna be okay. <gasps> Jeez! Oh, <gasps> fuck. Oh my God, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? No, uh, well, she bumped her head. Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I, can, I can't even feel it. My bump, not my head. I'm fine. Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Path chosen. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's Quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned, some paths are more dangerous than others. Cool. Honest, something jump out, we swerved off. Ooh. Okay, well, if we say something jumped out and we did hit, hit a person, then that could get us in trouble, but I feel like we gotta be honest. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and now here we are. Something jumped out? It was dark. Just be honest. Uh, I'm sorry. It was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. I don't know. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Cop seems anxious. Path chosen. This is kind of like the all-time scariest cop. I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> it's kind of a creepy cop. Square Pangu, thank you for the three months there. Happy 16. And Mercury, happy 15. And Aqua, happy two months. Thank you. Oh, they're just leaving? Uh-oh. Oh no, they, okay. 
Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Friendly. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. You're not going to make it to Hackett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just going to stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're going to head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? I want to be compliant, but I also am more curious what he would say if we say, why not Hackett's Query? But I feel like he's going to be like, let us just go. I said so. You know? I'm curious what he says to this. With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Query? Because I told you to go to the motel. Figured. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem is. Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Why? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am. If you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. Bye. Okay. Okay, so we are right about here, Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's Quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Please don't be gross. Please don't be gross. Please don't be gross. Still, please. Oh, he's been like what scratched up? Hold. Still. Excuse me. Ma'am. I can take care of myself. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You can return to your vehicle now, ma'am. Maybe you've never seen this because other people have done compliant and I said, why can't we go? And he made us get out. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. What a creep fuck. Oh yeah, because we fell in the dirt. That's right. Oh, the game froze for a sec. That's fine. Good talking time. It's because we fucked up the QTE because I went down instead of up. And our face got muddy, so we got out and he was just being creepy. Yeah, that's why. He was going to clean our face. Which I wonder if, if, it, if, he, if it would have just cleaned our face. But that was creepy, and he didn't even ask. I don't like that. Why is this guy just sitting there? Annoyed, thanks for all your help. Oh, no. Don't. That guy 
God, it's giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my God, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. Get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? Mm-mm. I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am? Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? Not the dick hole. I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20s debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into mams. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> Medusa, thank you for the seven months. Hi, Myth. Hello, hello. We need to be patient and gentle with these load times, because they're going to be weird, I think. We're here. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean... Clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll yeah. get the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I'll do the door last just in case that there's shit out here. Interesting. A this is a really cool perspective. The camera is in the inside of the building. That's a, is that a Ouija board? Wait, no, fuck, am I high as hell? Wait, look at that. There's words written on that. I thought it was a Ouija board for two seconds. And that coin kind of looks like the, what is that thing called that you move? Does that have a name? The thing you touch on the Ouija board to move around? Does that have a name? Planchet? The joystick. Am I pronouncing that right? Planchet? The condom? Jillian? Pray the gay will stay. Kate Planchet. Panchetta. Not Panchetta. Planchet. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go in. I thought there'd be more stuff, maybe. Can we go down here? That is a very creepy door. Look at the bottom left. That is the most creepiest door down there in the back with a light on it. Maybe I go inside here first. That's what the game wants us to do. Is anybody home? Y'all, the Panda Express. Oh, my Miss Panda Express. Damn it. I want them to bring back the chicken I can have. The Beyond Meat Orange Chicken. We can't try it again, can we? Like, shove it open or something? Oh, 
Okay, this might be a stretch, but do you guys remember Boy, those like- no one here, come on. Those- Just Give me one more minute, okay? Old CD-ROM Barbie games where you would walk around like this as Barbie and then it would give you a brand new scene like this. Like if you walked into a room, like the, I remember like the, there's like a vet Barbie vet one. You should stream them. <laughs> Barbie horse adventures was my shit. Really? Detective Barbie. Oh, that's funny. This door is just ominous. Like it's just, it wants to be open. I, yeah, I know that's very exciting to bring up that nostalgia bomb, but be easy on caps. But yeah, I, that's what it reminds me of. Oh yeah, Ryan Gosling is Ken. How do we feel about that? I don't, I'm Margot Robbie and, Mar and, and Ryan Gosling. That's gonna be interesting. Hey, hey, are you okay? As a naked person. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. That's an. Is there schlong in this Max. game? Max, get over here. Do we got new DD uh, coming in? Huh? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? No. I, I don't know. Just bring I mean, some tools good. so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring. I thought you said printer. There's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. No, look, I know. I'm it's looking. I am. Horrifying nightmare. Hi, nightmare. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay. So. Hammer. I hardly know where. Wrenches. Hammer. Weapon. Hammer time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. Yeah. So? Someone's trapped. Wow, that was super loud. <laughs> you need a hand? Is it gonna yeah. say path chosen? That's gonna be intense. Hi, Orbit Melon. Happy six months as well. Hello. Oh, I was like, hello? You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? <laughs> hey, be careful. Oh boy. I do have NVIDIA settings. I did my second playthrough that helped big time. Just let me know. Oh, okay. <gasps> Ian, the good dog boy, whatever it's called. Blood collar. Ian, this bloody collar looks to be too big for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian anyway? Listen, don't shame pets that have human names, right? Not every dog needs to be named Fluffy. Oh. Max? Is that an audio recording? Of a dog? 
Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our match... How is she not Max. more fucking like distraught by that? Max! Guess what? Help. I think I'm bleeding a lot. I think we both die if I help, but let's see what happens. Path chosen. I think we both die now. I wonder if he's also like infected. No! Bossanova. The calling. Okay. Every little movement is beyond improvement. That was a good game. GG's. We did it. <clears throat> Fly me to the moon. Fuck, I love that song. But that was a banger too. You know, we gotta show some respect to the, the musical artist that, you know, made the non-streamer mode music for this game, right? You know, they worked hard too. They've got beautiful voices. They should be recognized just as much. Everyone in their mother and grandparents know what Fly Me to the Moon is. Everyone knows who Ariana Grande is. You know, give some love to the people who were second best in the game. Come on, game. Come on. Oh, look at all those skulls. There's a lot, a lot of skulls. Come on. Come on, little game. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. So she's like like the lawyer, whoever we talked to in Until Dawn. There's I think. no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But 
If you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. This is the card you found. Mm -hmm. Fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. All recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think, and don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. Hell yeah. This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Look here, look here. Crystal ball looking ass. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. She's gorgeous. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. What's your skincare routine? Uh, CGI. <gasps> Hi, Eggs Benny. Your thing will get bobbed just because you shared age. We try not to share like ages in chat just for like people's, you know, safety and stuff. But I'm sorry that you tested positive. That's never a good time. But welcome in. Hello, hello. You're fine. Don't worry about it. You didn't know it's fine. The teeth physics, yeah. This music is the same? Royalty for you to tutorial music, yeah. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight we're gonna... Love. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack its quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. How many hearts are broken at a summer camp? They'll get over it. You never know. Reflective. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of, uh, Working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. Nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <gasps> so she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> okay, quit it. Jacob and Caitlin. Hi, Emma. Hey. Her haircut's okay, so cute. Is, yeah, it's um, Brenda's song, Wiki. You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Now we get kind of like a third person instead of like a... What, what is it? What, fourth person? What? The other view we were doing, is that a fourth person view? I don't even know how to explain that. How do you, how do you... Because this is like a third person. We were watching from behind, but the other one, it was different. Fifth person. According to reports from the local paper... Wow, they look so good! Mm -hmm. Some hay bales caught fire during the 
Hey, what do you uh, what are you listening to? Justin Smith, right? Or Justice? Justin? Justice. Good to know. Justice, okay. Can we talk to him again? It, they literally look like each... That's so... That's Fire. freaky. Only her body was recovered, along with the old North Kill Sheriff and some... <clears throat> no signs of the... Boy. Hello? That's fucking rad. Uh, Whatever, man. Kiss him. Hello? Okay. I thought maybe he'd do something else. Oh, now it's playing music. Now it's like, get the fuck out. You can't talk to him. It's pushing me out with cinematic music. Pretty. Wow. Look at the lighting. Oh, hey, this is Emma's. Path chosen? I didn't know. What happened to the blonde and the boyfriend? Um, boyfriend got gobbled by a monster. I think he's dead and got shot maybe. Uh, and then the girlfriend got injected with uh, whatever the hell puts you to sleep by the cop, by the cop. He came back. But if we wouldn't have tried to save our boyfriend then we would have escaped. We should have left them because he was a lost cause. He can't, he, he, he's a lost cause. This really does look like a very HD Barbie game. Mm hmm A sedative, yeah. Sedative, 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 sedative. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's Jason Bourne. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's... Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, please. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. The other interesting part about this game is these actors all had to do their parts separate from each other, so a lot of them never actually met until they did press for this. Wow. <sighs> Dipshits bolted it. Really? Maybe they're doing, you know. Maybe, maybe they're in there, you know. Do you, do you think they're, you know, you know, do we think, you know? Well, Lydia, yeah, how do you know? Yes. Yeah. Dylan stands where you guys at. Open the window. Cosie, what the hell? <laughs> god damn. Oh my god. Brandon! Oh, Jillian! pretty room Ugh. horror i hate horror i hate her <laughs> who's her did you say it again oh show text blood castle elliot sparks slaughter by sunrise foreshadowing or like or like, or like. okay 
Wait, what did that read? There was something at the bottom of the screen. That poster reads, shh. Oh, that's the thing I thought was a Ouija board. It is a Ouija board. You guys, it is. It's a Ouija board um, table with a little th thingy. It is a Ouija board. It's got goodbye on it and stuff and all the things. That's cool. Halsey, what is that? I don't want to click. Why is it letting me view the top of the shelf? Are those important things? Newspaper? Welcome to Hackett Corey's summer camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Okay, that's like their catchphrase, got it. Leftover spaghetti noodles? This place needs a serious overhaul. Oh, Jesus. I'm opening it. Dirty mines. opened it. I'm literally just looking at a, a unlit fire. Okay. I mean, he, it's, it's a fucking anteater looking a pumpkin. It's kind of cute, but it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a joke of other things. So it's like, oh, hi. I thought that was a person right there. That's creepy. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea. Hello? Two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Or not? No, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! That's rude. Can't open that door. Can't open that door. There's a store, general store, that have. <gasps> Hello. What a shot! Here we go. Eight a.m. to three p.m. Hell's back here. Oh my god, so dark. Oh, I hate this. Where the fuck? <sighs> this is like my Nintendo DS Nancy Drew game. <laughs> yeah, your laptop might explode. I mean, done? I don't have the highest end graphics stuff I right now. All my stuff is from like 2019, 20, 2018. So I am like, I've got five old, five year old. <laughs> I've got five year old stuff for children.
I heard someone flush the toilet. Please direct all complaints about the Anteater's Ass Eater video to me at 1079 Shitstain, Texas. Don't need to poopin. How's your not shit stain? I like that he looks up. Well, you look up. Mark, not shit stain. <laughs> Damn, what a fucking strong man! Two duffel bags, one hand. All right, got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Playful defensive. She's kind of being a little bit pushy and bitchy, not gonna lie. But I feel like I don't want to cause tension. Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Smug or mischievous. <laughs> ah, sexy, huh? <laughs> How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, I know, look, ma. It was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, <laughs> me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H. And... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't. Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> maybe I like it. It's just a fling. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the, um, the fumes of... of Jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? <laughs> big dog. <laughs> look at his look at his face right now. This is beautiful. These graphics, god darn. Wow. Okay. Um. She said we were charming. Let's just be confident. That's right. Because I could charm the pants off a snake. Snakes don't wear pants. That's me. 
may be the dumbest thing you've ever said. It's not a nice no, thing to say. No, I've definitely said dumber. Don't say dumb. Yep. Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. I can fix him, her, them. I guess we'll just. I can fix to everyone here. Wait, hold on. Brake fuel line is more permanent than stealing the rotor arm. Wait, okay, this is like full on chips and butter right now. What are, what does each of these options do? Breaking the fuel line versus stealing the rotor arm. Not not like storyline necessarily, but like I I don't know. We saw the future with one of these. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Say, say no more. Say no more. That's right. We, uh, when we, that's right. Fire on the car. I don't know which one did that. Probably breaking the fuel line. But we, she said we could prevent it. Yeah, the rotor arm doesn't seem like it's gonna start the fire. I don't think I really want to start a fire with the car, just in case they really gotta go later or something, you know. you right back tomorrow no harm no foul because this could be their escape route hi Saul. welcome in up here my dudes why did they look like they're up to something hey jacob what no dude please do 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 oh nick <laughs> boom oh. oh there it is oh Ooh. man good sight Ooh. freak oh Angelica, oh, hello! I wish I had some singles. Oh, freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like... I'm sorry. Uh, Lauren, are you still here? Lauren donated 5,000 bits 10 minutes ago, and because the alerts are muted, I did not hear that. And I just didn't see it. Lauren, are you still here? <laughs> I'm so sorry I missed that. I didn't hear it go off and I didn't check. Oh, thank God. I always, I, I fear like that happens and then they're like, oh, sh she didn't see it. And then you go to sleep and then you're just like upset. About, you know, thank you for so being here. Thank you for the 5,000 bits. Hope you enjoyed London. Thanks for providing consistently perfect streams to be a safe place for all. Make me laugh and keep me company working. The late nights at the Animal ER. You're an animal ER. -er. A superhero for animals. We love to see it. Back to lurking. Have a good lurk, Lauren. Thank you for the 5,000 bits. Uh, this is disgustingly generous. And Angelica, can I have another shout out for Angelica? The freaking amazing human. Hello. I hope you had a good stream. Are you playing this, Angelica? Are you doing this game? This is very good so far. Not too much has happened, but it's already seeming like it's going to be very good. ER, I hardly know it. Anyway, thank you for hosting. Um, if it's your first time here, hi, hello. Uh, my name is Julia. Uh, my pronouns are she, her. We're doing the first playthrough of the Cory. 
um, which if you haven't heard of this, it just came out, I think a week ago or a little over a week ago. Um, oh, you just finished. Okay, cool. You might do another run soon. You did Until Dawn as well, right? I'm pretty sure. A long time ago. Um, if you have played Until Dawn, well, I mean, obviously if you came from Angelica's stream, then you know what this game is because she has recently played it. But Until Dawn, um, was a game that came out several years ago that is by the same creators as this. Uh, which is, you know, it's a quick time event based game. Choose your own adventure horror game, pretty much. So, yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm going to jump back into the game. Angelica, I hope you had a lovely stream. And what were you doing today? You ended in just chatting. Did you just hang out the whole time or? Hi, Bunny. Hello. Wiki. Nice. That kind of goes with Halsey's video, I guess, right? Charged up our phones like a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? Kate. You know, you should really just save it for emergencies. Oh, Colleen, only. I'm sorry to hear that. Unless, of course, is but yes. being dumped <laughs> That's in emergency. That's all right, emergency. incredible. Oh, Ben. At least I got some. No, I don't want to say that. That's just too annoyed. Ew. Back off, dipshit. I'm sorry. I. Peace and love, man. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Y'all ready to bounce? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheek he wants. Okay, yeah, keep German, Junior. <laughs> why are men? Why are boys and men and... Mm. Why? I wonder if the heights in this game are... Uh... Like, like, like the characters in real life, the people, the actors. Yeah, men derogatory. There are, there are many amazing men out there that are great. <laughs> I'm talking about the men hyphen derogatory and hyphen. She's only 5'2". Nice. Are there? Yes, there are good men out there. Yes. I love this like elevator wait time we have for the next part of the game. <laughs> I need to ease into staying up later for these streams. We'll catch later. Good night, Julia Mods and friends. Good night, April. I hope we have a good sleep. Maybe froze. Um, it sometimes it's taken a second before it starts again, though. We'll see. I'll give it like 30 more seconds. Floresta, honestly, not much. Um, have you seen the game? Because I can kind of explain what happened. But I mean, you're here to watch, so I guess I can explain what happened anyway. Um, two people at the beginning, like, crash the car. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, it worked. It just took a hot second. Come on, sound. Come on, catch up, catch up. Hello. Oh, who the hell's that? Oh, good. At least we get a C. All right, it's going to be delayed, y'all. I think we're going to have, like, see people talking in a sec. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Yeah, Crispy, oh thank you. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Break it. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. 
Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. Path oh, chosen. about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. I'm sure proud of you. It was a bear. Oh my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Nuts. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? What is she in, this actress? <gasps> She's the kid in Modern Family! She's so grown up now. Oh my god. I used to watch Modern Family all the time. I rock I recognized her, but I haven't like I she, in Modern Family, she's the kid. One of the kids. You know, I think she's in Modern Family. Yeah, yeah. Minera, yeah. I think so. <laughs> Why would this place be in the news? Uh, okay, newspaper headline scrap. A scrap from the local newspaper, the North Kill Gazette. It doesn't look recent. Something about a fire. Was it a Hackett query? Dozens killed in a fire at the traveling show. I can't believe I'm actually going to miss all those lumpy, loose springs. Okay, I have a question right now because I, I just thought of this and I'm kind of confused. And I, I'm not sure if it was answered in the game and I missed this. But the event that happened at the beginning of the game with the couple. I'm already forgetting their names. Um, is this um, after this, after that or before it? Max and Laura. Laura and Max. This is two months later. Okay. And I didn't... Did, did it say on the screen and I missed that? that? Or that'll be discussed. For some reason, I had the mindset for a second that this was prior. It says the dates on the screen. Okay, so I could have picked it up if I paid attention to that. That's right, because they were getting there for summer camp and now we're leaving. Okay, yes, that makes sense. Okay, I just never, like, considered to think of the time frame of this. Yes, end of summer. I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay. I mean, I guess the piece of information we saw in there was the thing catching on fire. I'm like expecting to see a body under the cabin like in Phasmo in the camp map. Her hair is so cute. Oh, it's a crow. Doesn't crow symbolize death, kind of? Uh-oh. Gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Was there someone in the window? I didn't, I was looking at the crow kinda. Cherie, happy six months, hi. Hello. Can we go back and look in there? Were you counting crows? Hey! You stop that! 
Yeah. You? Oh my god, her little backpack! It's got little bats on it. Freaking bats. Cool. Love a good bench. Her bat pack. Oh my god. I'm pissed I didn't think of that. Bat pack. That's funny. Nice one, Joey. Final look around the cabins. Okay. Yeah, we can't interact with any of the doors so far. That's the first normal looking face on the menu. They don't blink all the way. They like blink halfway. Interesting. Room three. I feel like we can't do anything. Room four. Room five. I don't want to walk up every single stair. You don't have it. There's no option to like run in this, is there? Like I can't walk faster or can I? Because this is pretty fucking slow. There's a fast walk. Oh, I'm doing it right now, I think. Okay, I got it. It's LB. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, it is. Thank God I asked. Can't walk through the bush. Um, okay. Is What was A? What was that for? What just prompted the A? Oh, the sign. Information signpost. Though this is a novelty signpost, it also acts as a chilling reminder that Hatchet Quarry is really uh, is a long way from anywhere. Tokyo, Boston, Burbank, Death Valley, Decatur, Decatur, Toledo, Seoul, San Francisco. That's interesting. Okay, I don't think I'm missing anything by not going up to every single door. I think I'd be wasting time. I wonder if there's like anything. Every single of the every, every single cabin has like a, a bush in between it, so I can't like do anything. And room ten, I feel like we looked at already, so I think we're good to go. Birds are government drones. <laughs> we're bush locked. Yeah, nice one, Gummy. Hi, Dale. Thank you. Hello. I know the game is gorgeous. I love when games do this low light stuff. It just is so dreamy looking. I'm also biased and low light is like the best lighting for anything visually stunning. Shooting stars leaderboards. Huh? 
think anyone knocked Caitlyn out of first place all summer. New building? I don't know if I tried to walk up to this. No. Okay. Government birds, bush blocks. Was this the 2000s? I prefer... I... Friday the 13th. Ooh, yeah, I can see that. Well, hopefully I didn't miss anything major here. I just, I'm gonna go, I guess. How's the water graphics? for having it on the lowest settings. Ready to roll? Uncertain, not just yet. Enthusiastic. Let's do it. Does uncertain mean I get to stay? It's enthusiastic. Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. You're so dramatic, annoying, confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. Let's be what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Steering text. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. His it was in the package they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Victory Royale. Scenic route. I love scenic. Yes. Sure. What's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Oh, boy. How could they live without you? Be supportive. I believe you. This such a nice eyeliner, such a small strip. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Hmm. Is, is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. 
Speaking of which, we should we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick. Waiting for you. All everyone. Same. You don't want to smoke. Okay. We haven't seen Mr. H yet, right? No. I don't think so. I don't recognize anybody named Mr. H. Did you really just get everyone killed? I have no idea. Dev! Hi! We have the alerts muted, but... Someone was really disgusting. Someone was really disgusting. It's good fire. Someone was disgusting. I was disgusting. I was disgusting. I was disgusting. I was disgusting. There you go. I have to I have to voice act all of our alerts because they're off. So thank you, Dev, for the five gifted. Good remix. Thank you. <laughs> five gifts of Acapella. Uh. And here I thought the notifications were muted. <clears throat> also, I've noticed I, we haven't had any issues with the cutscenes or anything, so that's good. But the, I mean, I guess the loading screens are still a freaking elevator ride, but that's okay. I just realized I've been watching the stream for three hours straight. That's fine. I've literally done that. If you become invested in a game, it's totally fine to do it. Think about it. You sit your ass on the couch all the time and watch three hours of Stranger Things in one sitting. Same thing. Julian tried his best to an extent. Hi, Oasis. Hello. Welcome in. We do. We have uh, 20 minutes of pre-rolls left. I did it when I switched my settings on my thing. Oh, God. What is that alert? Oh, it's the... Hey, Julie, look. It's a result. Happy six months. <laughs> Sammy, happy six months. Oh, there we go. Our loading thing is here. No sound for a sec. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. It's okay, the other one was good. Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some Hard juice from Mr. H before drive. we go. Uh, you. <sighs> it might reset it. I promise you if you pause at the cutscene and wait until the face isn't like it works. Oh, okay. That's okay. I, I'm down to do that every time. It's fine. Well, Crispy, the entire cutscenes in the last like 10 minutes were perfect. No, no, no mishaps. It was totally fine. Looks like it's not laggy. Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? It, hey. There's no signal out here anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. Thank you for that tip. We'll do that. We'll okay. pause I'll every time. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. Uh, you. <sighs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um... Oh, shit, they're about to stay, uh... take care of my own bag. A whole, a whole well, nother night. I sure? forgot about that because of the I mean, car. it's really not that big she of a She can deal. take care of her own bag. Thank you. We can both Felix, take happy care one of our year. own bag. Thank you. Damn. Cool. 
Nudge? Nudge. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Cool. <laughs> Dottie's birthday? Dottie, happy birthday. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Friendly. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you. Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so but childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if Hag? I did, would I be asking them ass? I love Tell Hag. her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. With the CSB. Better than yours. You should have seen the kisses we supported. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Hey, hey, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Oh, it's him. <laughs> Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. He's oh. in Scream, right? It's Dewey. Yeah. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Deputy Dewey. As of oh, yes, a yes, I do. Cam deputy. Well, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. That's cool. They Damn, got a minute. Would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. David. Yeah. Yo, I Mr. H. At the beginning. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Understand. Cool. Cool. Yeah. No worries. Good man. Now we're gonna have no service. Uh, or no battery on the road. No big deal. You can share my earbuds. Okay. He's Mr. H, yeah. Ruffles, thank you for the 11 months, by the way. Hello. Hello. Why can't we charge it in the car? Yeah, what the heck? Thank you guys for the hype train that happened, by the way. I'm like just now seeing that. Thank you. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing. Hold on. Make sure it's not laggy. 
God, th look at the, like just look at that texture. This is on the lowest quality. Oh, they did such a good job. Is it really hard to like CGI teeth? Because I feel like they can't ever really get mouths right, but everything else is like perfect. I don't do graphic design. I have no clue how this works. But it must be hard to do teeth. With the no, about the whole thing with, with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Because kids are kids. It can only be so much, your vote. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Please don't look like you've just been eavesdropping. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like I mean, I heard... I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just... Come on, it's already pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents. Really, Mel, I, I see. Hi, Mel. Campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> He's Ian. So, That's the twist. Uh, what, what did you need me Ian. for? You're one of my favorite I'm counselors, just Ryan. Don't. You know that. Probably not. One of the good ones. No. But. Do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? It was just a little fun I didn't realize. We apologize. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Got to understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? What in the goddamn damn god? Hell damn. That's Ian. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. 
I will see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're sure they're all ready. Hold on. Just because it loaded a new thing. Need to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Not noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the past. Remember, they're not going to be able to leave. Our respective lives. Because he it. took Let's the go. thingy out. What's the problem? And Caitlin knows. Ugh. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What? Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Mimicking soap. Shit. Come on. Right, Come on. Chill. Chill, dude. <sighs> Crackers, thank you for the six months. Hello. And Ruffles, happy 11. I, I don't know if I said thank you, but thank you if everything. I did again. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is. Does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. Here. Okay, question actually, just this is kind of irrelevant. Why is damn it sometimes spelled D A M M I T and sometimes D A M N I T? Does anyone I've never cared to like look it up. Does anyone know? They just spell damn it D A M M and I I type it M N. Oh, you put a space in between it, Spock? You don't do one word? Two ways to write the same thing, I always thought. Oh, okay. Just like UK, US stuff? That could be a spoiler. No, it's not. Damn it is, uh, or damn it, I think, is more of a slang way to say it. Damn it is more of a religious connected statement. I think you're literally damning something. Wait, so if I spell it out like this, what about that? Is, is that not really a word? Do you have to put a space between damn and it? I do. I spell it like that. If you were to tell me to spell damn it, that's how I would spell it. Interesting. Okay, Charlie writes like 7,000 books a, a, a minute and a year at the same time. So I trust Charlie's judgment too. Anyway, okay. It, do <laughs> it doesn't matter. It was something I was completely just curious about because I've never cared to ask. Okay, anyway. Oops, shit. Right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right.
Hold on, I got laggy. I just want to drop the keys. Oh, beeped it. <laughs> I just want to drop the keys. <laughs> Chris doesn't have time hey, for Brent. this. <laughs> Come here for a sec. That happened because I dropped the keys. <laughs> or does that happen every time? That's funny. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge over tonight. <laughs> Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Wait, we have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Question is asked again, can I? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! What's gonna happen? Nobody has died yet. Nobody's, everybody's alive. The only people who have died are, I think, the boyfriend at the so, beginning. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside. Everyone's still alive. leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned oh, for us, they're no? they're trying to say party. Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seems okay, real point. serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we the get it. The group is you getting know, bored you, uh, of Ryan. You don't want to disappoint Daddy. Huh? So, oh, <laughs> hello. The defense yeah, here. well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh, you know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh, I'm doing what Chris told Boo! me. Oh, Ryan, come on, man. Wait, all right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay, first things first, Nick and Abby. You go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for Hi guys, something. welcome back to my channel. It's All been right, a minute. let's do this. <laughs> YouTube to back in tutorial music. Oh, we got a scope. No fucking shot. They're about to get a headshot right now. No way.
Kona. <laughs> it's hunting season, brother. You ever spread blood on your face in the heat of a summer evening? That's how it feels to drive a Ford truck. <laughs> God. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi, Shroom. Welcome in. Hello. And these load times are wild. So how's everyone's evening? Hi. We got time to talk, I guess. Hi, Casper. Hello. Hi, Luden. Francis, Ray, Manny, Reggie. Oh, Reggie's been here. Kels? Hi, Michelle. You're making veggie cauliflower wings? I am literally was just thinking about getting a snack because I'm getting kind of hungry. And I also haven't really had any water. I haven't had water at all tonight in the last four hours. I had tea. Let me pause. Let me pause. Oh, it's her! Look how beautiful. She's like slightly giving me Michelle Pfeiffer vibes. Does anybody else kind of see that at all? I think it's just like the mouth and like the small nose and like the high cheekbones. Little, like tiny, like just a little bit Michelle Pfeiffer vibes. Maybe a new tarot, but I didn't get a new, I didn't find a new tarot card. Yeah, she's got her own pause screen. Should we, how about I go, I'm gonna go pee pee real quick and grab food because there's never gonna really be a good time to like have a break, I think. So I think this is a great time to do it. All right. Alfred has been pottied. I have been pee peed. I got a snack. I am back, hello. Mm. How late is she playing? Um, probably for like another hour or so. I'm feeling okay. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Rainbow wrap from Trader Joe's. Let's see what you found. Yes, Lainey. Empty handed. Fuck. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Hmm. What's in that? Hummus, sweet potato, beets, spinach. Mm -hmm. I am Vera. Yes. I'm still very, like, at the beginning, I feel. <laughs> so I imagine it's going to get very intense eventually. Who is that? She looks like someone who would be on TikTok. Who is that? No, I know it's Emma, but actress. From Orville? Doesn't she look like she'd do TikTok like for a living? I don't know. Maybe it's the hair. <laughs> or she looks like someone who's on TikTok. I don't use TikTok as much, but. This is called Truth or Dare? Oh. Ooh. So here we are, stranded. Oh, she's a vlogger. In the great vlogger. American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. 
Will humanity prevail, or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Close the door. I'll let him do his shit. There we go. And Viola. Uh, Your hair clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. Go with your hands. <clears throat> I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? Lame is not a good word to use. Lame refers to people who cannot walk. Do not use the word lame to describe stuff. Destigmatize that, man. It should not be in a game that came out in 2022. Come on. And they were saying dumb a lot earlier, too. Dumb refers to people who cannot talk. Just say silly or shitty or... It just... Other things, you know? What? But it... It's my beard art, dude. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> I'm sure I guess worse. Well, the kids really wiped this place out. It's just surprising. Well, also not. Mr. I'm, I'm still pretty normalized. His accessories. Alex, happy 16 months. Hello. Stinky. Oh, there's a lot of other words. I think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh, oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh, jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Ew, no. I was thinking that you can't okay. say it. I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Yeah, Skunk, I don't know if it's very common knowledge, but it's something that you know I feel like slowly but surely. Because there are there are other words that <clears throat> refer to um like multiple kind of disabilities and stuff that were easily taken away out of daily language. I think like one of the big ones was like the R word. That was pretty much not ever said again, right? Because people learned like that's not okay. So you kind of just have to, you know, educate that there are other words that people use all the time that are also kind of not really okay to use. Harem scarum? Harem scarum. I actually didn't know until I joined these streams. Yeah, I mean, there, I, I've learned a lot of different um, ableist terms from like you guys educating me. So it's helpful to just honestly, it's like once you know, you know, you know, you know. 
Um, these flyers are promoting a traveling show called Harem Scarum. The date listed indicates that it took place over six years ago. Okay. Is that something? No. Okay. Yeah, it's like, and also the the big, I, I say this all the time, but you should never be hard on yourself for like having said it. Cause it like a lot of the times people just don't realize or didn't know. And like the biggest thing you can do is just kind of like educate yourself and like learn. And then you're like, oh, okay. From this point on world, I'll try to replace it with other words. And obviously if like you slip up and like say it, like the word lame or dumb or something to describe something, you can just, you know, it's, it's all about like just thinking about it like being crap. you know aware of it i suppose is that the big man huge man in blood huge man exclamation point exclamation point exclamation point huge man exclamation point oh shit I started getting laggy. I gotta pause it. Gotta look for tarot cards. It's different if you know it's bad and choose to use it, but it's a. F yeah, ex exactly, exactly. That's exactly it. Witchy, I know. I, that's the that's the thing that's like more of the downside to me is that like the fact that not a single person at the company had thought about it when they were writing the the scripts, you know. Find party supplies. Oh. <laughs> Hello, old friends. Oh, yeah. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay, have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. Oh, I did you spider a clown or is it the same thing? Oh, my. Ew. All right, now where should I hide? Just in case. Quick little reset. Because it started to lag. Jacob! That's not gonna be- Oh, that's not gonna be Jacob! Hello? Huge man! Like, if you're trying to scare me, it's not going to work. Ah! You're not scared of clowns? What? No, they're... they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean... yeah. <sighs> wow. Do you think it's funny now, little boy? I, oh, because... Do you want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? Hi, Erin. I... I... Yeah. What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. Huge man. Aaron, how are you? Hello. Good evening. Blue 
Blueprints for structural repairs on the lodge's chimney column. Judging by the scrawled annotations, this is not something Chris Hackett has the money to action right now. I wonder where this goes. Because if we call Jacob, maybe we can still kick the door down. <sighs> if we kick it down, she goes in alone, she could die. If we call J Jacob, or... Or if we go alone and Jacob's alone out here, maybe Jacob will die and we'll be in here because the huge man is outside. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Call Jacob. Jacob! Come check this out. Oh, uh, <laughs> alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Was he quoting Jim Carrey? Alrighty then. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What the fucking mother lad. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder he kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Right. Now, let's see what we are working with. Hold that. No. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Ice cream? Choco weeds? Zombie flesh? Gooey eyeballs? What the hell, Dan? <laughs> Interesting. I hate to, what, what the goddamn hell was the point of picking that box up? Is it floating? It looks like it's, oh. He grabbed a case of beer. Evidence. Hello? Oh, is this, tuto oh, tutorials. You guys ready for a cute tutorial? Everyone likes a scavenger hunt, and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Okay. Jacob! Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay, um... 
there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Torn bags. Achievement unlocked. The truth is out there. I just got an achievement. Uh, okay, evidence collection. Torn bags. Torn hiking bags dashed with flecks of dried blood. Did, did a bear do this? Can I look at it more? There's lots of blood on it. Whoa, what in the Jurassic Park? Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a code. Maybe for like an armory? I'm done. <laughs> that is not safe. Vampire bites, brain candy, scrunchios, chili chips, one dollar. Zombie flesh. All of these snacks are like zombie themed. Interesting. Thank you, Tristan. I hope you have a good sleep. Thanks for hanging. Oh. So you're, uh, you're really going to keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay. Uh, well, I am going to find something to haul this lot back to camp. Bears. Big man, huge man. Huge man. Did she try a code before? Uh, no, I didn't see anywhere where there was a code to try. Uh, the pronoun extension is, I think there's a little bug happening with it right now. So yeah, it's, uh, toothpaste. It's, um, uh, not, not showing up for some peeps or for maybe everybody. But yeah, people were saying that earlier as well. You are not alone. And see. Maybe this is the code. Oh, we already tried to do this thing. I remember. another entrance in this I don't think am I high oh I can walk faster oh I forgot I'm so sorry oh my god ah yes clueless excuse me the disrespect. That's good to have, I guess. Is there anything else in here on the shelf? Nar. Clueless is a really good movie. I love that movie.
you have enough badges, Anthony? I know. Maybe should we take away one? We could take away one. All right. The UK sign. UK Kona. <laughs> UK Kona. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Oh, oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should- No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. You know, maybe we'll need them. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jacob's music. I found in. these like torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stay right there. Uh, <sighs> oh, dude, peanut butter butter pops, dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. Reese's puffs, Reese's puffs, eat them up. Affectionate, what are butter pops? Judgmental, aren't those for kids? Oh. Please. What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't hey, happy it. seven um, months. Okay. I don't um. remember if I said thank you, but hello. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my God. They're like the greatest snack yes? of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre. A food snack. You like popcorn? You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, Zim, thank you for no, the two so months. Good. Hello. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old. Okay. Saying. Look, they predate expiration dates. Well, you're gonna love them. Well, oh my god. Right. well <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front so we can load up all our booty in there. Hey, oh. uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it. you not know what a wheelbarrow is? Around. Oh, I see. Do you not know what a wheelbarrow is? First. Mm. Yep. Which way? Oh. It's called wheelbarrow? Wheelbarrow. 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 I'm gonna grab the wheelbarrow. I thought it was barrel. <laughs> Every time. All right. Here, here's the thing. I've never once in my gosh dang life seen we wheelbarrow spelt out on paper. And every time I hear someone say it fast, wheelbarrow. Sounds like wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. No, I am not. Berenstain versus Berenstain. Oh, ew. No, not that. Please not that. <sighs> All right. The inner sink. Hey, I'm sorry to pause again, but it's all, you know what's worse? S this is not as bad as this. I just found out like two weeks ago that the phrase, it's a dog eat dog world, isn't it's a doggy dog world. I thought that that phrase was it's a doggy dog world, not dog eat dog. I thought it was doggy dog, doggy dog. It's a doggy dog world out there. Like, they're just talking about, like, dogs. 
It's a doggy dog world out there. It's a dog eat dog? Anyway. Dumb. It's just an office. This this is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. You thought that too? I'm not alone. And Wrong doggy engage. dog? No, gummy. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Respectfully, what's a doggy dog world? A world full of dogs. Also, Rango, hi. My, uh, missing my partner terribly. Her mom got COVID. And then, uh, she ended up getting it three weeks without seeing her talking on the phone. Has been torture, but grateful they're feeling better and healthy. Wait, why can't you talk to your partner on the phone? Uh-oh. Yeah, that sounds like not a good time. I hope they're doing okay. Welcome in. Thank you for the eight months, though. Nuclear versus nuclear. Were you confused when it was used in the context of life being tough? No. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I never once like sat down and thought, hmm, why do they say it's a dog, doggy, dog world? I just thought it was a phrase you say. Didn't ever think about why they said it. It's a doggy dog world out there. Doggy, there's lots of dogs. Uh, what are you listening to now? Let me guess. Let's do friendly. Uh, what's it called? The one that you're listening to right now? Uh, bizarre yet bona fide. Bona. So like ghosts and the stuff. The only thing I'm worried about. It's like is um, getting a bona. Yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Bona. Boner, fight. Get it? Oh, <laughs> the man boner joke. Your wit knows no bounds. Hi, Strah. So, should we check out what Mr. A H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. Rango I mean, got what you. What kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp That's full fair. of impressionable young children? That's have, unfortunate, anyway. but. That makes sense. <laughs> Not Mr. H. I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Okay. Look around Chris's office. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Beats? Yeah, yeah. He said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, yo, yo. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. <laughs> this look. I don't know. Okay. What if the bear. What if bears crash a party? What if we need it? Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, think about it. It's camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if okay, Julia. bear with me here. What if what's Julia. on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah. Not going to happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Your call, man. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss. Dylan, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry. I just really, really want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, <laughs> I told you to leave it alone twice. Yeah, sorry. Cut it out. We can just, we can only look at it now. 
Okay, Ryan, give him something else to hold then. Ayo, 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 it is the Happy Pride Month, ayo. Family photo. Clue discovered. A younger looking camp leader, Chris Hackett, with his two kids, Caleb and Kaylee, they look happy. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on. Before we do that, let me see if there's anything else we can do before we just jump down that hole. Summer cam timetable. Art class, bike ride, sports, scavenger hunt. Okay, here's the, here's everyone's game, all right? Here's your homework right now. You have to pick the day that looks the most exciting to you. Art class, bike ride, sports, scavenger hunt, library re reading day, library reading day, driving lessons, fun day Sunday, barbecue, rowing, cooking with Chris, library reading day, baseball camp, camping, movie marathon, fun day Sunday, family day, another art class, make a fort, sports rowing, shooting star prizes oh that's the shooting okay never mind that's like the people with the most stars music night something canceled cooking with chris library reading swimming picnic fancy dress hiking martial arts art class and movie marathon nice linea martial arts would be fun hiking obviously is he like, I'm not touching the controller. Hello, what, what? That's cool that it like goes to his face. No archery or climbing? Make a fort would be really cool. What is it called? Make a fort. He's like, what the fuck is taking so long? That too, yes. Can't you, like, speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it. You guys can do it. It's not working. It's, we're going to have to wait. <laughs> That's some shit I would do. Interesting. All right, peace. Hello, what is this? You hear that? Anthony. Is that a trap door? It's a trap! <laughs> Secret sex dungeon? I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple <clears throat> counselors who never showed up? Katie, uh -huh. thank you for giving me such a skunk. Skunk! Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not Enjoy funny. Your Probably just in your, in goes your to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. I'm down. Uh oh. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What? 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 It's nothing. Oh. <laughs> I had you going there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Path updated. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. 
You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Oh my god, the face. Playful, ring ring, dismissive, he'll never know. I don't know. Um. Um. <laughs> His fucking little smile. I don't know. Ringy dingy ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Darn Is that your doozy impression doozy of Mr. H? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I- you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Flirting the surprise. Yeah, one. it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Wait. That was the, the two people at the beginning. Yeah. I'm so curious. If anything, probably not, but I'm very curious, um, if we didn't try to make that girl save her partner, if she, I don't, I don't even know yet. This cutscene again? Or are we looking at more pages? Oh, cool! This is literally what we just read anyway. Ooh, okay, this is what everybody's did. So, Brenda Song's character, Caitlin. Caitlin Ka, activities coordinator. Emma was a theater coach. Laura? Laura? What was her name? Lauren or Laura Kelsey? Something? First aid support and wildlife training. Oh, that's a cool job. Dylan does announcements and scheduling. Abigail does... She's an art tutor. Nicholas cooks and kitchen supervisor. Max was activities assistant. So maybe like assistant to Caitlin. Ryan's a sailing coach and Jacob is a sports coach. Shared no... Sh Share no show responsibilities among remaining counselors. Laura. Laura Kearney. Oh, thank you, guys. That's cool. So... Got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Boyfriend. Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yeah! Be gay, be gay. Free agent. Cool, yeah. Oh. Me too. Damn it. Are the, uh, phones... Wait, what did he mean by free agent? Like, he's single or he's gay? He's free, single. Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. <laughs> oh. Kiss! They're both single! Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. I forgot about this story. A single gay. <laughs> Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can ready poke for the around in Chris's private area? Private area? Uh, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? 
Hardy, har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's. You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. I'm gonna drop the Can't keys. I'm gonna that, drop the but... keys. I'm gonna drop the keys. I beefed it. I don't play sports. I just want to do it for the dialogue they say and just drop everything. But it, maybe huh. it'll be awful if we actually lose something. Fashion icon. <laughs> Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Bridge to Terabithia. <gasps> Wait, what movie is that? Not Bridge to Terabithia. <laughs> fucking the other one. What the fuck is the closet one? The fucking closet one. <laughs> what is it called? Narnia. It's <laughs> not the right movie. Yes, Narnia. Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Thank you. I don't know what the fuck. Bridge to Terabithia. I'm so sorry. That's not the same thing at all. Oh, wow. No. Uh, Brian? <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? I know. These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just... They're all different <laughs> trails <laughs> in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you gonna do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Ghost orbs everywhere. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't right? disagree with you, but... It, it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, it's okay. it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, he's a streamer. Probably nothing. Huge man. The camera just moved. The one I'm covering. Huge man. Okay, these are boring. Wait, oh wait, hold on. Can you look up? There's computers up at the top. I wasn't, I didn't think I'd try to look up. I don't think you can, but. 
Wait, I did look up. I'm high as hell. Can't look at it. Wrench? <gasps> Letters. Huh. Are we not going to interact with that? Max Brinley, Laura Kearney, Hackett Quarry Summer Camp, North Kill, New York State. Map? Camera, oh, camera locations. Reposition front, no, front right camera. Trim back leaves and branches around woods. Check family back left camera. Replace scrapyard camera, front entrance. Clear all the large camera something things, okay. Okay, this might be kind of like a stretch, but I don't know what this actor's in. I can't think of it, but does he kind of give you like Dylan Sprouse vibes a little bit, the way he looks? Not Cole, but Dylan. I know they're twins. But like, doesn't he kind of look like Dylan? A little bit? Like just a little bit? Like, for a second, I thought it was a Sprouse twin. For, like, a second. I think Cole and Dylan look different. I don't think... I mean, they're twins, but they, they have different faces. I know it's not him, but, like, I was like, it kind of looks like Dylan. Anyway. You thought it was him at first? Yeah, it's just got, like, similar features. I thought it was dealing with that, your glasses. I thought it would have been cool because I've been like, wow, two cast members from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. That'd be cool because Brenda's song's in it. Oh, my God. Please let me play the guitar. First, I was afraid. I was petrified. I can't play it again. What the hell is... <sighs> what... Is this just like a fun interaction? Is there anything I can like? I'm thinking I want to believe we've earned your bum mm -hmm. Is this literally just a guitar room? The entire point of this room is just a fucking guitar on the wall that you can strum once and then forget about. Cool. Tim Robinson. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Nice. Also, hi, Koopa. Welcome in. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. I'm sorry, heavy-duty yeah, stuff in his fun. ibuprofen? Did he just say a heavy-duty... What up? Ibuprofen. Sleeping tablets? It's literally sleeping tablets and ibuprofen. What do you mean heavy-duty? Par is that paracetamol? I don't I don't know this. Toothpaste is heavy shit. Yeah. I can't read it if there's any other medications, but it looks like ibuprofen, maybe paracetamol and heart? People something who have heart something? Oh, but it's prescription strength versions of it. That's true. That's a fair point. Oh my god, I thought for some reason I'm like interacting with the sink next or something. So if you do go to school in the fall, have you like picked out a major or? I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not decided what you're going to do with your life? Hey, are the phones done yet? Nice. Okay. Full up. I was going to read 69%. Head to party, continue exploring. 
How many had to party? We've done all the exploring. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Could we have let it charge more, I wonder? Probably not. Thank you. Probably got, a good, got more dialogue from him about school because we were able to talk to him again. Did Jubes want tarot card locations or is this a chips and butter thing? I think I do want tarot card locations, actually. Kind of like, what game did we play where I wanted to know locations? I, Little Nightmares, right? With like masks, I think. Like, I did I miss one? Was there one in the office? Did I miss one in the office? Someone said crows are an indication of the cards. Oh. I think it, it almost hinted that too. This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Shady Glade or Rocky Road? I almost want to choose Rocky Road because of the ice cream. But look at how these signs potentially depict our outcome. Shady Glade has got sunshine on it and Rocky Road looks dark. What if that's foreshadow? No pun intended with Shady. Maybe we go Shady. This scene is very Life is Strange and you know what? In Kilo, I think it's also the music that's making it very Life is Strangey. You'll find a tarot card in Rocky Road? Okay, I'll go Rocky Road then. I do want to know tarot card locations, I think, when we approach them. Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. They're like burning or whatever. <laughs> think we've got enough? Uh... Not yet. They're so awkward. It's cute. Kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. Mm -hmm. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves run pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. What in the cold play is this song? The dominant rock of the quarry is quartzite. Quartzite, quartzite is a non-foliated metamorphic rock which was originally pure quartz. It was previously used in prehistoric times for making stone tools. Pure quartzite is usually white to gray, but can be found in various shades of pink and yeah, uh, pink and red, yellow, green, blue, and orange. Literally every color. Oh, I hear a crow. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? Nor? No. Okay. Where was the crow at?
Are the... Are the things just like... Okay, I hear it over here, I think. Excuse me. You trying to smooch or like, what's up? Oh, there it is. The hanged man. The hanged man, huge man. To be hanged man is to surrender and by doing so gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. Okay. Thanks, Crow. So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean, like, the future. Yeah, sometimes. All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to, like, let it happen, you know? As you should. Huh? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. I wouldn't call it that exactly. A predetermined future. Maybe the direction stays the same, but the details change. Like, it changes as you go. You're still in control of your own... Fate? Yeah. I don't know. Seems a little defeatist. No, see, this way I can do whatever I want and not feel bad about it. Within reason. Guess that is a little freeing? In a sociopathic kind of way. <laughs> Slightly worried we go through here, one of us dies, but let's fucking see what's going on. What nice stroll. Life is strange, yeah. It's the music, it's the music, I swear. Okay. Music stopping. Did I miss something? Is there a person in the woods or something? You're counting on me to keep everyone alive. Well, someone died already earlier, but I don't know if that... Do they always die at the beginning, at the intro to the game? They must, right? Because it says they're, like, missing or something. The commercial clips <laughs> that's like uh what did i do for that oh the youtube tutorial clips the welcome back to my channel clips is the intro yeah Oh, 
Oh, we can't go that way? Okay. <gasps> Hi, Alice! I hope your journey home was all right. It was long, but it was... It was good. <gasps> Molly! Hi, Molly! Very life is strange. I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Ashes, have a good night. Good luck with your game decisions. Thank you. I hope you sleep well, Ashes. Good night. This view is just... Wow, that's very pretty. Do me. Do me. Ooh. Do me. Oh, well, sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to get this down. Right, sorry, dumb idea. Okay, I just wanna finish this. Take your time. Also, Alice, thank you for gifting a sub to Molly. Wait, Molly, I thought you had your year and a half resub the other day. And Alice says you have an 18 month. What the heck? Alice, thank you. Interesting. Um, the Shruti 5 alert's supposed to be playing right now. Okay, I can unmute alerts to play that. Yeah, I have um the alerts off for this game, but we'll Can I like unmute the Shruti 5 or is that gonna be weird? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Alice, have a good lurk. You're good. Thanks for lurking. Did you hear that? Huh? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. <gasps> oh, little piggy! Look! It's so tiny. Little pig! Little pig! Let me My God, in. It's so cute. Where's the mama? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Dude, where's the mama? Wiki! What? Oh, fuck. I all tapped! You're in danger. <gasps> Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing, tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. Where's when the danger high? has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. Cool. Okay, um, all right. Well, I'm gonna just say hi really quick before I have to deal with this. Whiskey, thank you for hosting. Hi, hello. How was your stream? Can we have another shout out for Wiki? Oh, you're doing just chatting. What were, what were you doing today? Hi. It's very good to see you. Hold on. I was also going to play Aureus's alert because. Hey, little girl. I'll Did let that go. Did you want to know 
a secret? Cause I know Ooh. one and it is Bunch so of stuff. good to nice. hear it. You want to know what it shows? Alright, I'll, I'll tell, tell you what, what it shows. I know. Hey Zach, welcome. Hello. The way to it's 55. 55. And, and I, I will tell you how to, to do, do it, it faster than you can say poop the poop, poop the pants. pants. Also, if it's your first time here, hi, hello. You ready to I'm getting a little bit I, After we finish this chapter, I'll probably right. um call it because I'm getting a little tired. Schwan. Two. Two and half. After we run from these boars. Seven. Someone's going to die, maybe. 18. 21. 27. 27, hey. 27 I haven't killed 27. anybody yet. What do you say? Come on, girl, when you add five plus five. Come on, girl, fifty five. Do that 55. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Shake your butt, you ex. 55, 55. Now let's do the sex. Come on. Shake it, 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 Seems like a good spot for a drum circle. Can't read me Um, Aureus, thank you for the fifty-five dollar tip. That's very generous. Thank you. That's very kind. Sorry to mobile users. Yes, that is very true. I held my phone out because Alfred was just outside my door and he was looking and he just like literally like had his head down and he just looked like like, like he, and he held that stare at me for like five seconds. It was actually kind of terrifying. I was like, why the fuck are you looking at me like that? That, but like scarier. And now he went into my room, so he's probably just going on the bed, but. Um, Whiskey, I hope you had a lovely stream. Thank you for hosting us. Uh, we're doing our first playthrough of the Cory. I don't, Whiskey, did you play this? Have you already done this and beaten this and everything? Not Alfred cosplaying as a Cory monster, yeah. Ooh, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know how far into the game I am now, but... Actually, you know what? Oh, wait, I need to click the game. Tarot cards. Oh, wait. That might kind of tell us how far we are in the game if look at all these tarot cards. I don't know. Oh. Did you draw that? Okay. Did you get all that? Huh? I thought you were going to draw me getting French by a wild pig. Ah, uh, French? Got it all up here. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, the podcast? Which podcast, Brittany? No so you have to let it go before it runs out. Oh, because you're like, Bleh. if you don't. 
So that was like a tutorial about breathing then right there. Guess we should head back. So pretty. This is the one heterosexual relationship I'll allow. They seem very sweet and cute. I, I agree. They seem nice. We'll allow it once during Pride Month. Only this one. This one time. Now, oh, Abby's sweet. She's cute. You're not fond of Nick. Oh my God, do we get to play as Brenda? Ranch, hi. Dude, she's fucking stunning, dude. Beautiful human. Uh-oh. She's kind of lagging. Okay. Mike. Mike Monday. Brenda's on. I love that her last name is Song. It's such a beautiful sounding, I mean, it's just Song. It's pretty. <sighs> Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Does she kind of sound, sound like Miley Cyrus a little bit? She kind of has like lower raspy voice a little bit, like Miley. <gasps> I get to take the picture? What if Cam, what if Cam, what if Cam, what if Cam? Can I move around? I can't do any other settings. That watchtower is a little gross, but I'm not not a fan of. We could just do like raw mountain. I know that lens flare. Look at that. Honestly, that's a cool shot right there. I kind of like that. You know what? Pro no one probably gets that shot. I bet you everyone gets the water and the cabin and all of that. But just like the sky with the mountain. Let's go for it. Golden hour shot. Raw mountain. Ugh. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? <sighs> Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Well, Bruno, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check. Kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys that shot no of, imagination. of so, Caitlyn's uh, character is so beautiful with the sun flare behind. Still no service. Ah, uh, yeah. So, pretty boring. I wonder, maybe a satellite fell out of the sky or something? Yeah, and landed in the forest, waking from her slumber, the hag uh, hacking. Okay. You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> You've already done that joke. It's pink subtitles. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. 
we could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. <laughs> a hog of Hackett's quarry. You both okay? Look how beautiful she is. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know. We could stare at Brenda's face a little bit more if you want, but I need to decide. That you both okay is going to be kind of like a pretty bland response. Let's do playful. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> <What? Okay. laughs> what the hell? Wow. Oh. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The fireworks were a big path change. It said that when I selected the fireworks and they just set them off. And so now things are probably going to come to us because we're not supposed to make noise. Where the hell did that gun come from? Dude, dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh. Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine, fine. We'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, 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 cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. So they're Emma? Australian and American hand treats. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Let's start. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? What did Whiskey say? If you look like Emma, I'm free oh, on no. Tuesday. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Holy shit. Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so. We pause it every time so it doesn't freaking lag out the booty hole. Just so you know, I was an expert marksman. <clears throat> Third class. <clears throat> Third class. Three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick. But if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually... Okay, boys, I'm going to have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm going to go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me or is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, pencil. bye. Oh, no. 
So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Evasive. It was, it was okay. Hey, that a boy. So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. What, no, no, no. Hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Yo. Speaking of, no. let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're in. Sorry, Brenda. Oh, is this the tutorial? We're about to watch? Yeah. You guys ready for a cute vid? I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself <laughs> using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. I love how they made all the tutorials with inspiration from Twilight Zone. It's so neat. Mm hmm It's cute. I mean, it's cool. Ops. The flashlight just means we're gonna have to do this at night too. It's just shit. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Am I doing it this time? Oh, what the hell? Nice shot. Can I do it? Can you let me do it? To Lucky. Can I do one? Can I aim and do one? What a waste. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. I want to do it. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot. That's Jacob. mean. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey! Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. No! <laughs> GG's. GG's. GG's Sorry, only. Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter luck next time? Hey, I didn't want to <laughs> say it, but... You're both very mean. Blam, we thought this was over. What the whoa. Pop pop peanut butter butter pots. Walk right through that door. <laughs> she took twenty minutes with a camera, didn't she? Anthony shut. The goddamn hell. 
You can do that part, by the way. Oh, check settings, maybe. Oh, is it like auto shoot or something? I love that I didn't get to do the tutorial. That's awesome. Now when I have to do it real, it's going to be my tutorial. Learn on the fly. And it's nighttime. That's fantastic. Okay, new idea, party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Hey, oh! Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house steals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. I'm gonna say truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, uh, no. I. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on, I, I'm not finished. Um. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, Don't choose your uh, Abby, crush. oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Wait, my turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Bop. Like, literally, actually. This is nice. This is stuff I would listen to in high school. You know what you're choosing? I actually don't know. I was thinking of tr he's someone who would say truth, I think. What song would this have been? Should we do Dare? I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't, I don't really mind. I know, I, I mean, I know this is like my decision, but like. Dare would be cool. Dare makes it interesting, yeah. Dare, give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess. Ah, both hell yeah! Sorry, I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, you know. Dylan, Happy Pride Month, baby! Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Always happy to please. 
Hey yo, that was gay. Let's go. They liked it. Oh, he's gay. All he's kind of right. okay. Who should oh, I pick? oh. Uh, me and Jacob have another turn. Oh, you saw okay. that. Wait. I know he's flustered. Oh, okay. Wait, so now, sorry, are we picking who we want to truth or dare right now? Who we're choosing? I kind of missed that because I was distracted by gay. He's still smiling. Caitlin or Jacob? Uh, Caitlin, I guess. I don't know. Caitlin, what do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. Ever hook up with Jacob or what did you want to be when you grew up? I'm actually genuinely curious about this, but I feel like that would be spicy. Hmm. Should we should we be mischievous? Hi, Domo. But I'm curious what the, what she wanted to be when she grew up, but I I feel like we got to be spicy. Must be spicy. So you and Jacob go way back, right? Like since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. Don't say you lame. You guys ever uh, get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But it never went any further because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo, still love you, bud. <laughs> Okay, my turn. <sighs> Emma, there. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick? Uh. <laughs> well then. Um... Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. We're killing her. She's dead. To us. And literally. What the fuck is that? M. <laughs> Seriously? I thought I was gonna get the option. Ew, and he just like let it, ew, and he just like went nice. for it. Ew. And his eyes are open. I feel like physically nauseous. Thank you, Nick. Ugh. He's good. Oh, don't. Okay, good. I, I was gonna say leave. I thought. Uh... You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. Oh, no. <laughs> it was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go During after Pride him. Month? You should probably go find Abby. <sighs> Dude, ew. Ugh. So, anybody want to play Bargeezy? What? I, like, physically felt... Icky, nauseous, cringe. The devil's gonna come when the sun go down. The devil's gonna come. These guys like don't appear threatening because that song fucking plays. <laughs> Huge man. Yeah, we'll let Emma just die. Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. Let me pause, let me so, pause, let me pause, let me pause. 
So this one we see her uh, means it's the end of a chapter. That's correct, right? Then, cool. what more has been found? The hanged man. <laughs> to be the hanged man is to surrender. And by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. But these are just words. There's more to show you, if you'll let me. Oh, okay. So is this pretty much like cheating in the game? Like if you choose Seymour, it's like a thing that's going to happen from the next chapter that you can like have like a pre thing of what would happen if you do something versus choose to not know. Is that kind of what this is? Is there, is there something different I get if I choose move on? The totems, yeah. Well, I already did it for the first one. It's not cheating at all. The totems were cool and until gone. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. Yo, okay. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Yo, she's so cute. Look at her. Cute. Cool. Hold on. Okay, we'll watch this. Hello? We'll watch this as a trailer for what we get next. Tra this one's called Trouble in Paradise. Andy! Hi, hello! Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anyway, I can kiss anybody. It's stupid. It's stupid. How was your stream, Andy? Hello? <sighs> Great. Where the hell am I? <sighs> okay. Okay. This is the beginning. You just finished chapter three. We are gonna... I think I'm gonna leave off at chapter three. I think... Do we have new clues? Is that why? No, I saw that. Oh, oh, I didn't realize this, that we learned more. Okay, I have to look at these exclamation points. I didn't realize that you learn more things about them. That's cool. We get more lore. Um, I hope you're enjoying it so far. This has been lovely. I'm excited to continue it. The one thing I'm a little bit bummed about is we did miss um, one of the cards. And I think I knew where it was. It was we, we could have gotten it with her, I think, when we were looking at the cabins. That video one, I know. I mean, I wouldn't mind listening to that person's voice describe the lore of this. For no reason in particular. There are a few lore pieces for each item. Cool. All right. Well, anyone coming in from Andy's stream, this is also our first playthrough. Um, welcome. Hello. Hello, the old witch lady. I love her too. She's gorgeous and she's, she, she just seems really chill. She's better than the one in um, Until Dawn. It was like that creepy like lawyer man guy and he was, he just got really weird. But yeah, this is cool. She's nice. Okay. um, These are the same as the poster in the woods. Why does Chris Hackett have them? Was he connected to Harem Scarum in some way? Whatever these posters are doing in Chris Hackett's possession, he must have forgotten to take this one down. Paths. Uh, path. Love at first sight. Journey through 
all the twists and turns of young love and discover just how much your relationship can endure. Oh, yeah, we tried to help him. So also, anybody who's just tuning in who didn't see the beginning of our playthrough, this is kind of what we did for choosing it. We tried to help him. Above the law. You'll never take me alive. A shot in the dark could come back to haunt you with a long arm of the law ever extending. Whether it holds a gun or an olive branch at the end is up to you. Laura was honest with a cop about the accident on the road. I miss her. Oops. Stupid is the stupid dies. Playing the fool has both vices and virtues, but all decisions lead to consequences. And if ignorance is bliss, what does that make foolishness? Jacob removed the rotor arm from the minivan. The minivan failed to start, so the counselor couldn't leave Hackett's quarry. Well, here's the thing. I think that would have happened no matter what, because it's either we take that and the car could potentially survive, obviously, or we cut the thing and then it catches fire. Down the rabbit hole. I want to play a game. Something toys with you, but perhaps you can turn the tables by following a path unknown. Remember, findings that seem insignificant could well be your last hope of survival. Abby chose to help Emma break into the cabin. Abby was able to explore inside the cabin. Yo, the cop was really gross. Yucky, yucky. Path tapes update throughout the game. I think so too. Yeah, we're, I think... So what we'll probably do when we finish our playthrough for the night... Um, so like when we are done with the chapter and go to sleep, whatever, uh, we'll go back and look at all the exclamation points. We'll do that at the end of our time, I think. I think that'll be good because it can kind of like summarize what we did. I think that would be cool. Going out with a bang, loud bangs. That's the dream. Heart stopping cracks and kaleidoscopic hues. When the world rains color and light, it might frighten those who hide in the dark. Emma chose to take the fireworks with her. Emma set off fireworks while rejoining the others at the fire pit. Watch your step, find your footing, or lose your life. When each step taken is a step toward the sunrise, it can be treacherous to follow in someone else's footsteps rather than carve your own path. Dylan opened the trap door in Chris's office. Yes. Dylan loosened a rung on the ladder. Uh-oh. You know what's interesting? As we've done the first few chapters, or we, the first two, right? And... Nothing intense has happened yet. Which means the next stream we have of this, I feel like shit's going to start going fucking south because we just saw the... It's, first of all, it's nighttime now. Second of all, the little crystal ball thing, we saw someone getting hung up with a rope and then a knife. So I think it's about to get, you know, pretty, pretty wild. Keepsakes. Cherish or perish, a cherished keepsake worth dying for. Experience the power of nostalgia. It might just help you survive. Hopefully, it won't end up as something to remember you by. Jacob picked up Emma's silver bracelet. I didn't even mean to do that. But that's cool. What's this? I'm confused. Why is this? Does anybody know? All right. Do you see? Do you see like right here? There's a exclamation point. Does anybody know why I can't look at that? But it has an exclamation point there. Is that like, I don't know what that is. No idea. Hope that helps. Yeah. Thank you so much. DLC. Oh, now it went away. Ooh. Oh, the map. This is cool. Camp Lodge built as the central hub of Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. The lodge is where campers con congregate for meals, lessons, and indoor activities. It's also home to our nurse's station, just in case of any unlikely bumps and bruises. And this is the cabins. Campers bunk together in camp cabin supervised by our team of helpful counselors. The large tree that stands tall in the middle of the cabin symbolizes the growth of all of our campers at Hackett's Quarry. 
end their journey onto or into blossoming Hacketeers. Since when is there a map? It's just the camp map. You, do you not look at your things? Camp store. We're proud to stock a range of treats and snacks for our campers to enjoy during their stay at Hackett's Quarry. Not to mention the ingredients for our healthy meals prepared by our counselors in the lodge kitchen. Rocky Road. Skirting the edges of Shady Glade, Rocky Road is a scenic ramble along the forest rocks. The forest rock faces a beautiful demonstration of the power of nature and one of the many wonderful secrets that lies in the woods of Hackett Quarry Summer Camp. Shady Glade. Wait, why does Abigail get a picture? Shady Glade, one of the many woodland walks through Hackett's Quarry, is so named due to the canopy of tall trees that grow here or there. The dirt path through the floral undergrowth makes for a serene atmospheric walk through nature. Why is Abby's? Interesting. Oh, maybe. Oh, is that where people are right now? Because they're still at the fire pit. Interesting. Also, the sounds are like, like camera. That's cool. Um, relax and unwind with a sing-along by the fire pit situated right on the picturesque lakeside. It's a perfect place to catch up with your bunk mates after a hard, hard day's hacketeering. Wow. Okay. Tarot cards we don't need to read. I've missed one tarot card, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. I made it um, apparent that if we are in an area with a tarot card or if there's a place where we can get the tarot card, I'd rather get it because I want to be able to see the tarot cards. <sighs> Another streamer had the same question throughout her gameplay. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but now the exclamation point at the top over there, like where the clues was, went away. Dang. Well. Uh, quit the main menu. Cool. Oh, okay, so it's just a glitch. Okay, that's good to know. Sweet. Well, y'all, that was uh, very good. I mean, what I expected it would be, good. Similar to Until Dawn so far. I think I might, I don't know if I like it better yet. I'm gonna have to decide, but it's similar, you know? Cabin in the Woods-esque type vibes, so. It's fun. <laughs>